Today, I'm going to talk about simple steps to value yourself more. When it comes to self-worth, self-worth is how much you value yourself. It means recognizing that you are important and deserving of respect, love, and happiness just because you are you. It's about believing in your own value regardless of what others think or how you compare to them. It's understanding that you have what slimpy by being you. When you are working on personal development, your sense of what is incredibly important. self worth means recognizing and appreciating your own value as a person. Here are seven key points to remember. Number one, accept yourself. Understand that nobody is perfect. Accept your flaws and strengths alike. Personal growth doesn't mean you become flawless. It means you become the best version of yourself like myself i will often say if you if you've been following me i don't have the h sound i don't have the k sound most times when i want to say ask you see the i will say ask like you want to ask somebody i know these things i don't know any other word that i don't have i was born and raised in nigeria of course my pronunciation to people that was born in the uk would be different or that was born in the us and stuff it would be different but i know this and I know a bit of my strength, maybe not all, because I am becoming, and I know some of my weaknesses. I hope I don't turn my strength into a weakness now, because like I will often say to people, an unnatured strength becomes a weakness. I'll say that again. Unnatured is a strength, but because you don't nurture it, it will become a weakness. So there's a possibility you know how to do a certain thing. Consistency, doing it every time will make it look like a weakness, even though it's not. Accept yourself for who you are. This is me, Oluwashi, Aparagun, Bishesa. I don't like lies. I'm a very honest person. I am not perfect. I know. When I come in contact with people, we have a group project. If I notice someone knows how to do something better than me, I let them do it. I don't drag position with people. If there's nobody to do it, I step in, I do it the way I know how, even though it's not my strength. So that's where you should go. Let's say you are planning for an event. You want to do a flyer. You notice this person, their way of designing flyers kind of captivate you. You love it. Let them do it. Don't be dragging flyer unnecessarily. <laughs> Accept yourself for who you are. When you accept yourself for who you are, you will know that no one is you. You have something other people don't have. Other people have something you don't have. You can be replaced. And also you are irreplaceable in the area of your strength. If you are humble enough to accept the fact that you have your strength, you have your weaknesses. I say that again. You can be replaced and you are irreplaceable. When you are operating in the area of your strength. You see that one have a comma? There are thousands of people, millions of people who can do that thing that you're doing in particular better than you. But you're doing it, you have the grace. Be humble enough to know that other people are better than you. So accept yourself. So when you walk into a room and someone have a good voice and they are singing, don't feel inferior because your voice is not good enough for singing. I can sing, but <laughs> the breathing technique. That means because you are not a singer, you don't have the strength of a good voice, but you can still sing. So embrace that part of you. Accept that part of you that you think is good, that you can flourish in. And accept the fact that you are good in some areas and you are also not good in some areas. Accept yourself. Number two, be kind to yourself. Treat yourself with the same kindness and compassion you would offer a friend. When you make mistakes, instead of harsh self-criticism, remind yourself that it's okay to be imperfect. Be kind to yourself. Some people, what the mistake they did long time ago, that's it beating themselves for it. No, because that is pride, you know. That is pride. Because you're thinking you shouldn't be the person that will make that mistake. Who, do, who told you that? You are bigger than the person that will make a mistake. So if you if you think, oh, because you make a mistake, ah oh God, why? And some of us we even think, ah, what will people say? People don't care. So be kind to yourself. Be kind to yourself. You made a mistake, you should have done it this way, but you made a mistake and do it the other way, and something happened. It flops. Start over again. Failure is part of the process. So be kind to yourself. Be gentle with yourself. You know, the journey of a thousand might take one step. When you start, then you enjoy the journey. It's because a lot of us focus on the end result. That is why we beat ourselves up so much. 
when we mess up during the process. So enjoy the process and be kind to yourself. Number three, celebrate small wins. Acknowledge and celebrate your progress, no matter how small. Each step forward is an achievement and a sign of your growing self-worth. Celebrate small wins. And we say to people, never compare someone bought a house to gaining two hours of sleep. They are not the same. To you, because it's material things, a house looks bigger. No. To your mental health, two hours of sleep, extra two hours of sleep is bigger than a house. Depend on your journey. Depend on where you are at the moment. So the likes of people who work with the system, who work, you know, here, sometimes it can be very hard to catch that your seven hours, eight hours sleep because why people are sleeping, you might think you want to edit and all get to a start God help us. So when you celebrate small wins in the sense that I'm able to achieve this because I've put my mind to it. I said I wanted to do it. I noticed that I spent two hours on Instagram every day. I want to reduce it to an hour and a half. And I'm able to achieve that. Celebrate it. Celebrate it. Please. There is no bigger win, big win. A win is a win because it takes a, a growing mind to make an attempt. It takes boldness to come out of your comfort zone, to start doing something that you are not familiar with. It's like me coming out of, even coming on social media to be speaking is, is a bold step on its own. And aside that, going into the radio on GoCom Radio, and um, the CEO, Islami Akadejo on GoCom Radio, gave the opportunity for people like us to step out of our comfort zone into territories that we don't even know. And here we are, 27, we've recorded 27 episodes, so far since I started in September. So, when you know how to celebrate small wins, you will be a winner regardless, even if you flop. Does that even make sense? Even if you flop, you'll be a winner. Number four, set realistic goals. Set achievable goals that are meaningful to you. Unrealistic expectations can lead to disappointment and a lowered sense of self-worth. I said this one time. It's like if your annual salary is 20000 and you are looking at a car that is 30000 what is going to happen? Even if you want to use all your 20000 to buy a car, because you will not eat, you will not pay rent, you will not buy clothes, you will not do any other thing. Who will give you the extra 10 grand on it? Not to say, you still need to take care of yourself, you still need to take care of your well-being, cool yourself up, pay yourself and all. So set realistic goal. Okay, in the next five years, I want to buy a car. Can I say five grand towards it every year? Then I have 25,000 in five years time. Who told you five years is too far? Who told you that? Stop paying attention to the now enjoyment. Now, I want to have it now. Walk towards something. When you walk towards something, you enjoy the benefit. You enjoy the fact that you achieve. It gives you more fulfillment that you are able to achieve it. Because discipline yourself to do something for 12 months, 24 months, 36 months, it's a lot of discipline for you to consistently do something. Save every week or every month, depending on you know how often you get paid, or fortnightly to save towards achieving something. That's discipline. So set realistic goals. I want to get this deep done. Okay, I want to clean the house. It's a two-bedroom. Okay, can I take care of my living room in the morning and in the afternoon, maybe I'll be able to do my room and towards the evening, I'll be able to do the kitchen. Maybe tomorrow, because I don't have the strength, I go to another room, set realistic goals. Don't kill yourself. That is why we see ourselves as a failure. And there's nobody that is a failure. Because you think you can start a house and build a house in 24 hours. I'm not talking about plywood building. You want to start something and finish it. No, 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 no. Then you begin to beat yourself well, if you are not able to achieve it you, because you're setting unrealistic goals. So set realistic goals. Number five, surround yourself with positivity. Spend time with people who uplift and support you. Positive relationships can boost your self-esteem and help you stay motivated on your personal development journey. Surround yourself with positivity. See, there's something about negativity. It can make you go crazy. I don't mean like you're angry, like cuckoo. Like they will tie you down somewhere. It can make you go cuckoo. Because oftentimes you'll be, you want to think like the person is thinking, which is impossible. So when people are being negative, it goes straight into your head. I don't know how it happens to you. It goes straight into your head. So if you can remove yourself from that, please do. Do not value friendship or value family relationship than your mental health. I will say that again with no apology. Do not value any friendship or any relationship more than your mental health. When you are crazy, you will not be useful to yourself. You will not be useful to anybody. You will just be there. And life will continue to move on. People who intentionally make you get upset wonder why you are showing tantrum when you are angry. Does that make sense? They are the one who put you in that situation. When you start ranting, they will act like they are the victim. So remove yourself from every negativity. It doesn't matter who the person is. Remove yourself. Don't go crazy because of anybody. Because if something happened to you, 
Even your kids will move on. Number six, practice self-care. Take care of your physical, emotional, and mental health. Regular self-care activities can reinforce your sense of what and help you maintain balance in your life. Practice self-care. Self-care is just something that you like to do that make you release negative energy. It's like restarting a phone that make you, you know, the, neg the energy will just go. <sighs> now we are starting again. For me as a mother, when the children are up in bed, I spend time alone. Sometimes it makes me not to go to bed early, but we're working on that. Learn how to, you know, enjoy your being alive. So practice self-care. Take care of you. Some people, they like to, you know, go on a trip by themselves. Some people, they like to sit in the garden. They like to sit in the park. They like to do something for themselves, by themselves, for them to enjoy. Just practice self-care. Take care of you. Take care of you. You are wonderful. You are amazing. And you are doing a fantastic job. It doesn't matter who you are as a single person, as a single parent, as a mom, as a dad. It doesn't matter who you are. As an entrepreneur, as an employer, take care of you. You are doing a fantastic job. And there is no one like you. But that self-care is very important. Life goes on. Take care of you. Number seven, which is my final point. Learn and grow. Embrace new experiences and learning opportunities. Personal development is about growth. And each new skill or piece of knowledge adds to yourself what? You know, you have to learn and grow. You have to unlearn. You have to relearn. You have to learn new things. That is how you will grow. When you notice people are doing something in a certain way, you love it. It makes sense. Learn and you will grow. So it's, a, it's all about self-worth. It's all about continuous learning. Building self-worth is a continuous process. It's about valuing yourself for who you are and recognizing your natural worthiness, no matter where you are in your personal development journey. For you to grow personally, you have to have a self-worth. You have to carry yourself with dignity. You have to be able to say no to things you don't like. I wonder why you will not say no to something you don't like. And you leave that space, you go and be murmuring behind. What life... Whose life are you living? When something doesn't go well with you, nice and clean, excuse me, I don't like that. Just say it. You're living your life. It's one life. So learn and grow. Continue to, people who don't like the way you're so firm and honest, they will. And people who love you for who you are, we come. It doesn't matter. Be old, be full. Be full with yourself. I hope with these seven simple steps, you'll be able to value yourself more and know that. You are who you are and there is no one like you. So if this video had any value to you in any way, please give it a thumbs up and you can share with other people that will also gain value from this video. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, kindly subscribe and click on the bell notification so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Until I come to your screen again, enjoy the rest of your day. Bye, warriors.